It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne. An entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi everybody, it's us, The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome to The Wine Ladies, one sip at a time. We're live here today in studio. And of course, to all of our friends and fans on Facebook, Twitter, thewineladies.com, as always, thanks for sending in all your questions and your comments. Suzanne, I also want to remind everybody about our holiday mix and mingle wine tasting event that is coming up November 17th. It's going to be an awesome party. Mm -hmm. Sip on an array of fantastic wines from around the globe. Enjoy some delectable appetizers prepared by the masterful chef Lan Hong of 3S's Restaurant, all the while enjoying the music of David Johans. Mix and mingle, come alone, come with friends, and it's going to be a fantastic night. The tickets are available on thewineladies.com, and uh, it'll be just in time for the holidays. It should Absolutely. be a fantastic party. All right, so on with today's show. Last week, we were introduced to the Italian Association of Women, the Don del Vino, or Women in Wine, an association of over 800 members, all involved somehow in in wine, whether promoting it, making it, uh, drinking it, <laughs> talking about it, <laughs> definitely drinking it. Whether they're wine, whether they're winemakers, they're proprietors, they're journalists, TV hosts, possibly. Um, they have. There's no doubt that these women have definitely made an impact in the world of wine and have also had an influence in the the style of wine. I believe that many of us are enjoying today. So the times, they are definitely a change. They are. We've had the pleasure to attend Le Don, Levine, Le Don Del Vino, premier Canadian trade tasting, and had the opportunity to meet over 20 wine producers, mm -hmm. all fantastic women, of course. And uh, absolutely, but of course, of course they are. But before we introduce our first fabulous guest, who happens to be from Italy, actually, Suzanne, why don't we take this moment to raise our glasses in our traditional toast mm -hmm. to women in wine. Salut. Salut. Okay, so our guest, whose mission is to convey to all Canadians and Americans mm -hmm. the root of the very rich culture of great Italian wine and tradition, she grew up in the very area that surrounds the company she passionately rep represents today. We met at the Le Don Del Vino Tasting. We are so pleased to welcome Export Area Manager of North America for Distilleria <laughs> Bottega, <laughs> Ms. Daniela Chester. Hi. Hello, <laughs> Daniela. Nice to meet you. Well, that nice was a mouthful. Too. It always <laughs> seems to be. It's never John Smith. No, it isn't. No. But you were fine. You were I did fine. okay with yes. it. All right. Well, thank you very much. My Italian is not so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Toronto. Thank you. Is this and your first time? Oh, no. It's not my first time. Uh -huh. I've been here several times, but it's always a big pleasure to be in Toronto. Oh, well, that's fantastic. And I love the concept of Le, Le Don Del Vino. What a great idea. 800 members, female members of this association. Yeah, it's a fantastic idea and all of us are all together for show sure that the women can be very successful in this business, the wine business, mm -hmm. which is um, we can say a business that usually does a lot of men. Mm -hmm. right. There's not enough room for the women. But Not in your company. <laughs> in my company, I have to say that the 75% of the women, of the people, is, uh, is women. Wow. And even if the pioneer of the company, of course, is Sandra Bottega. Yes. Who I told you before, he is a not, uh, such a nice guy. Yes. We and he loves women. <laughs> and he loves women. This all is why he loves you. Women. <laughs> so how does that work? How do all these women get along that all work together like that? Well, oh. how, uh, how is that? Is it a real sisterhood? Yeah, it's fantastic, fabulous. It, it's something fabulous, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're like a big team. And uh, so it's really enjoyable. And we also support each other. Yes. We can give suggestions and work together. So yeah, it's a, it's a good team. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Now, if you had to say, like, with, with, the, uh, with the, the rise of women now in the industry, yeah. from, from running the whole gamut, if you had to come up with maybe a couple of ways that you think maybe the women have influenced the wines on the market today, is there, is there any way you think that you guys may have done that? 
Uh, okay, for example, the sommelier, the women sommelier mm -hmm. usually can have a, um, f a better perception when they are tasting the wine. Yeah, they, so say ah. that they say they have better palates. Yeah, I've heard that it's before. true. So this could be one of the key points, of uh -huh. course. And then when a, wo a, woman, a woman is in the business, you know, sometimes it can be stronger than a man. Uh, yes, like a strong silence yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. The men don't realize that they're doing what you really want them to do. You ever notice <laughs> that? Stop Sorry telling guys. everybody that. It's, it's revealing all our secrets, am I? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Distilleria Bottega then. Yeah, so um, uh, you have already said that it's in Veneto region, so mm -hmm. it's northeast of Italy, and the company is between the Dolomites, the very famous mountain, and Venice and the seaside. So the location is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it was founded in 1977 by okay. Aldo Bottega, but then in 1983 uh, it um, it has been started uh, managed. Sorry, it has been managed by uh, the three um, kids. So Sandro Bottega first of all, okay. and then his um, sister and his brother okay. Barbara and Stefano. And at the beginning. It was only, Distilleria Bottega was only a local producer. Okay. But then now we are in more than 110 countries. 110 wow. countries? 110 That's fantastic. countries all over the world. Wow. Wonderful. And uh, with our grappa, which is, of course, the first product mm -hmm. that Distilleria Bottega started to produce, right. but also with our sparkling wine and the, and the red wines. Mm -hmm. So are you noted for your grappa? Is that, is that what yeah, puts you on the map? Yeah, for the Alexander Grappa. Yeah, we are on board of the major airlines, so uh, mm. A lot of people uh, buy this grappa for presents and gifts, and so it's it's something. It's a very nice product. Usually, the packaging is also very interesting. We use blown glass bottles. It's from a our stunning bottle, definitely. Yeah, from our uh, glass factory, and mm -hmm. they can have some subject into the bottle. Like some what air, in the bottle? Uh, a small object. Objects like, into the bottle. Like, yeah, like um, an airplane or like um, oh. a tree, po um, palm tree, or... A well, the grappa is yeah. inside? Well, they the put grappa. the grappa inside and inside the objects the and the, Yeah. Uh, are they made of glass? What are the uh, objects yeah, made of glass? Are they like okay. on the Hand bottom of the bottle? It's like yeah. attached to the bottom of the bottle so it can't, and it can't fall off. Yeah. Or, oh, okay, lovely. And it's, or Does the this one have anything? Also. No, this There's one has There's no surprise this in this no. bottle of grappa. <laughs> <laughs> this is the regular one. Okay. And the interesting thing is that Sandro, that the one of the sons that now is running yeah. the company, I yeah. guess, who apparently has done phenomenally since he took over like at 19 years old or something. Yeah, he was Doesn't 19. he also design the bottles? Yes, he is wow. the designer. He's the designer. He's the one that creates uh, everyday new ideas and um, so, and we can say that he is the pioneer, of course, of the company. Yes, yeah. And uh, probably this is why he can manage all the women into the company and be sure that everybody can live in the same place as, like, sisters, we can say. Yeah. Very interesting. He's multi-talented, yes, too. He's a race car driver. He's yeah, an actor. Yeah. He's like, what else does he do? He does everything, this he guy. He plays guitar. He plays guitar, yeah. yeah <laughs> he was used to sing. Yeah, he's um, very nice and creative person yeah dynamic mm -hmm. and he's always doing new things and traveling around the world and then he loves meeting people and right so yeah so how did you get involved in the industry so um, I started uh, you said I was uh, grown up in the mm -hmm. area so it's something that I love the wine and the spirits so I started about it and then uh, I had uh, the occasion luckily uh, to, an opportunity to, the opportunity to work with distillery Bottega and then it was yeah it was a nice opportunity and then mm -hmm. I continued to um, study the wines and about grappa also working with Sandra Bottega so he was probably the best teacher right <laughs> that yeah. I could have met yeah yeah mm. what, what do you think is it is it um, very very easy now for women to get into the wine business what was traditionally like you said a very very male dominated yeah uh, industry yeah, I think that now there's room also for the women. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and the w a Women in Wine Association is something that can prove that the women can be very successful in business. Yeah. So, 
I know we always did the work. We, I mean, like I never planted vines. Yeah, you never do any. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. But I mean, women always did do the work. They were always involved. But like you were saying earlier, they just never got the accolades, right? No, they didn't. They never the rose to the top, sort of thing. Yeah, but I think you saw, you have seen you have been at the Women in Wine One. Yeah, events. phenomenal. That's uh, great yeah. to see that. Yeah. And so you can see that they can finally be on the top of the company and. Well, look what you've done as the export area manager. In how many countries now? 110, she 110 said. countries. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. And, you know, and all of us, the export managers, are women. So, so tell us, what are we going to be trying here on the show today? We're going to just, just briefly tell us the products, and then we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Okay. So what are we going to be starting with? The Prosecco? Um, yeah, maybe. Let's start with the Prosecco so we can also toast. With yes. A glass of Prosecco. Okay. And um, our, the name of our Prosecco is Il Vino dei Poeti, mm -hmm. which means the wine of poets, because it was a, a prize for, um, for the Italian poets. And it's also the wine that usually the artists and the uh, hard lover people use to toast uh, for, the, um, for the joy to be alive and to enjoy uh, a good life. Okay. And, um, it's a very fruity. Um, it's a very fruity wine. So the bouquet has a lot of apples, uh, golden apples, and pear, mm -hmm. and the taste is very, very fresh. So it's a perfect wine for uh, celebrating something. Okay, so and that'll the be the first one. Yeah. And then after that, and then we can go with um, Amarone. Mm -hmm. um, one Amar of Suzanne's favorites, by the way. It is. Oh, I love that wow. <laughs> I'm sure you will enjoy it. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to finish the, up with the grappa. With the grappa, so it's our first product, the grappa. So, we will talk about grappa. Sounds okay. Good. All right. So let's go to a break. Uh, you're watching the wine ladies here, one sip at a time, and in studio, Daniela Chester from Distella, Distilleria Bottega. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's us, the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and I'd like to invite you to the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Minkle Wine Tasting taking place here at the spectacular Rumi Galleries in Mississauga. Sure to be the party of the season, mix and mingle while you sip on an exclusive list of wines from around the globe, not available at Vintages or at the LCBO. While you also enjoy delectable appetizers created by the masterful chef Len Hong of the Three S's Restaurant. Meet like-minded palates, whether you love a big California Cabernet or a silky, smooth Pinot Noir, or perhaps can't refuse a glass of bubbly. The wines will be available to purchase, too, only by the case. But that's okay, we've made it simple. Need a mate and mix a case. It's perfect for the holidays. Or simply come and have a wonderful time in a spectacular venue of roomy galleries, all the while being entertained by the ultimate entertainer, David Johans. Now, Suzanne, we're also going to have prizes and loot bags for everyone, too. So why not kick off the holiday season with the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Mingle Wine tasting November 17th at Rumi Galleries in Mississauga, thewineladies.com for more information and for tickets. Cheers, Cheers everyone! Hey Georgia, hey Suzanne, welcome to Girls Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course, after all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen, so what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls Night Out, we brought Girls Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny, the Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls Night Out Wines, hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. Hey, Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it. Believe it. You'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration. 905-483-8676.
in Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the in Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. All right, so we are now back, and uh, this past week, uh, George and I had the opportunity to visit the Don Del Vino, Women in Wine. Um, over 20 producers have been here in mm -hmm. Toronto, and uh, representing over 800 women that are involved in the Italian wine industry. And we've got Daniela Chester here today, and she's about to open a bottle of a Prosecco for us <laughs> from Distilleria Bottega. Wow. Great is that better? Is yes. It, it, it is? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should toast to that, Susan. All right. I <laughs> <laughs> learned how to say it. Okay. Okay. So let's start with that. With Prosecco. The okay. Yeah. The pros prosecco seems to be so popular now, too. Yeah. It that is. was awesome. Wow. That was perfect. <laughs> Okay, so you could do so. the honors there, Daniela. Okay, let me pass the. Uh, oh, thank we'll you. Pass the glasses. So, so. Uh, yeah, prosecco now is becoming very, very popular, mm -hmm. mainly in I would say in all the world, mm -hmm. but in North America, it's yes. now becoming very, definitely. Very it's yes. one of the go-to sparklings for sure. Thank you. There you go. Absolutely. And Suzanne and I always say we absolutely love bubbly. You know, whether it's champagne, prosecco, yeah. sect, sparkling wine, you name yeah. it. I think that it's it's. It's not enjoyed often enough. People save most of the time for celebrations, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. Th it, it goes great with a lot of different kinds of yeah. foods, and you know, it definitely yeah. has a place. So, it how is prosecco made? So we it comes from uh, uh, the Glera grapes. So um, since two thousand and nine, there's a new law for what concern the production of uh, uh, prosecco. Before mm -hmm. that year, uh, the grape could be called, named also Prosecco, but now it can be called only Glera. Uh -huh. And uh, from these grapes, so we produce a Prosecco. For what concern our Prosecco, uh, the place of the, um, where the vineyards, the place where it is located, mm -hmm. it's a um, um, very particular area and it has a kind of microclimate mm -hmm. uh, because of the location. It is in the uh, feet of the uh, pre-Alps, uh, uh -huh. And so a uh, cold wind from the Fadalto mm -hmm. mountain uh, comes down in, in, the, um, in our vineyards. And uh, so for this reason, there's a very um, large temperature range uh -huh. during the day and the night. Okay. This is very helpful for um, the maturation of the aromas and the, and the sugar. And, the, and, and also, this is also one of the reasons because at the end, we have a very, very um, rich wine in the, in the bouquet, mm -hmm. and, uh, but also a very well balanced wine. Uh -huh. And um, the bouquet, in the bouquet, you can find a lot of apples, golden apples, and pears. Golden apples? Apples, mm -hmm. sorry, and, okay. and yeah. pears. And, uh, and, and the pears? And pears. Pears, <laughs> pears okay. <laughs> Okay, the Italian accent. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> so I love strong. it. It's charming. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and um, so, uh, and and as um, George said, uh, said, it pairs very well with everything. So mm -hmm. uh, it's not good only for a celebration or toast, which is perfect. Yes. But it's also very nice during the meal. So you can have it with uh, uh, fishes or. Uh, with pasta or with the international cuisine like sushi mm -hmm. or um, also some grilled meat right and um, and then of course with the dessert yes of course <laughs> prosecco and dessert of course <laughs> now this is a dry prosecco i guess most prosecco are usually made vinify dry i would guess is that probably true yeah so mm -hmm. uh the prosecco can be uh brut Mm -hmm. Extra dry or dry, it right. depends on the sugar content. Yes. And um, there's a lot of brut in the market, uh, which means that the sugar content is uh, um, and 12 grams per liter. Okay. Otherwise, uh, um, if it's higher and it could be uh, around 14, uh, 18 grams per liter, it could be um, uh, extra dry. And mm -hmm. otherwise, the dry is 25 grams. 
until 25 grams per liter. 25 grams. I have a yeah, question. Okay. Like in the region of Champagne, Champagne is not like a good vintage is not made every year mm -hmm. because of the, f the the way the temperature and the climate is there. Is the same thing with the Prosecco, or is it a good vintage pretty well? year after year after year. Yeah, it's uh, usually Prosecco has to be drunk fresh. So uh, now we're drinking the 2010 uh -huh. and in two or three months uh, we will start drinking the 2011. I mm -hmm. see. Okay. And the uh, first champagne is, is different as also the fermentation takes place in the, in the bottles and right. so it takes a long time. And, uh, and so at the end they can, the, the vintage of course is very important uh, on the wine. Right. Uh, anyway, there's also different vintages for Prosecco, but we can, we usually produce it every, every, every year. year yeah. Every year, right, yeah. Okay. And the ma one of the major differences, I guess, is from Champagne to Prosecco, or the, or the method Champenoise, is that that's not the way Prosecco is made. The first secondary right. fermentation is in the tanks, in the, in the steel right. tanks. Right, in mm -hmm. tanks, yeah. instead of, of uh, the in bottles. Bottle, yes. mm -hmm. Yeah, and the result is, of course, a different product yes. because uh, um, the the bubbles are different mm -hmm. between the champagne and the prosecco, and uh, also um, we can say that it's a um, easier, a more versatile product. Yes, prosecco, so you can easily drink it uh, also every day, mm -hmm. and um, and also during the meal. So right, this is uh, of course, and the way of production, of course. It's the main main difference. And this is one of your main products over at Distilleria Bottega, is that right? Your your Prosecco is one of the main uh, Yeah, ones. it's one of the best seller. Yeah, one of the best uh, sellers. One yeah. is Prosecco and also we have a very good sparkling Moscato and the mm. name is the Wine of Love. Okay. And uh, <laughs> which is also a very nice product. Yes. A sweet Moscato but very fresh. Mm -hmm. And um, the other best seller are of course the grappa. Yes and the limoncino, and then a chocolate cream, grappa based. The name is Janduya. Oh, you oh. should have brought some of that. I haven't tried that one Whoa. yet. Oh. Okay, I will let you receive one. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a des it. dessert in a glass to me. That sounds right, delicious. it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. for what concerns the red wines, it's the Amaroni and mm -hmm. the Brunello. Oh, the, oh, and the Brunello also, yeah. okay. Awesome. Well, that's lovely, like you say, and this is very reasonably priced. What is the price, Daniela? Yeah, it's around $13 uh, dollars in the market. Uh-huh. Here, Here in Ontario, in Ontario Yeah, in Ontario, market. but more or less it's the same one all over the world. Okay. Over. And, and this yeah. is available in over 100 countries, too. Uh, yeah, around 100 countries. Okay, yeah. wow. Awesome. That's great. It's like, it's like you said, you can, you can take it anywhere, have yes. it with almost anything, nice and fresh. Well, we have right. to do a, a wine list for a new client, a restaurant client, yes. and we're, we're looking for a Prosecco, yeah. so maybe this might be something we, we could put on the list. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was one wine for sure. We said we've got to put a Prosecco on there. So, <laughs> so is this in go. Ontario, is this a vintage item? or is No, this it's a general list. So item. this is a general list. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. okay. So there yeah. you go. Awesome. So That's maybe fantastic. we'll add this one to the list. All right. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah. I got a Let sale. me know the restaurant. <laughs> 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 That's great. Okay, so that, that's very enjoyable. And then the next wine that we're going to talk about is, of course, the Amarone. All, All right, right, so let's move into that. Okay, yeah. do you want to tell us a little bit about of the course. Amarone? So Amarone de la Valpolicella, mm -hmm. it, the name is the wine of gods because we think that it's a very nice product and even the gods would like to drink this kind of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they would. So Amarone means? Uh, bitter. The, uh, Bitter. It means Be bitter. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Il vino del degli dei means the wine of love. This is what you want. The, to probably what, to ask what means the wine of love? Vino degli dei. Oh, vino. Mm -hmm. Ah, vino il vino yeah. degli dei. dei. Oh, we right. Right. Ah, and okay. okay. Il vino degli dei. Okay. Amarone is an Italian word to say bitter. And I can tell you why. Yeah, why? Because it was a kind of mistake in the production. In the, um, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century, they wanted to produce the uh, Recciotto wine, which is another wine from the Valpolicella with the same grapes, uh -huh. Corvina, Rondinella, and Molinara grapes. Um, and it's a sweet wine, very sweet wine. But they forgot to stop the fermentation. And oh. so uh, mm -hmm. all the, the sugar mm -hmm. of the wine became alcohol. Uh -huh. And so after that, they had the Amarone wine, which means uh -huh. the big bitter one. 
and uh, uh, they enjoyed it and so after that they started to produce the Amarona uh, and now it's a very very popular and famous Italian wine it is very famous wow. yeah. how fortuitous that this happened that they didn't pay attention and oh. all of a sudden you have Amarone yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of Amore but that when you were making the connection yeah. to love but no mm. Amore Amarone is not the same no thing. it's not okay, the same Georgia. thing <laughs> <laughs> connect the dots there Georgia what's There's going similar on similar words <laughs> I know these wines are absolutely lovely. Now, mm -hmm. there's something very special. I always think Thank it you. to be a, a, a big treat when mm -hmm. we get a bottle of Amarone. Yes. And, there's, and the way the wine is made is also like a unique uh, methodology with the drying yeah. of the grapes and that sort of thing. So yeah. maybe we can talk about that as well. Yeah, that's good. So uh, you, this wine usually, uh, this grape, the grapes, uh, sorry, usually are ripe at the end of September or the beginning of October. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the harvest take, takes place in the first two weeks of October. Okay. There's a uh, very strict selection of the bunch of grapes in the, in the uh, vineyards. And then uh, we leave this bunch uh, uh, to be withered to be dry yes. in uh, wooden boxes uh -huh. and they stay there for about 100 120 days wow and so it means that the weight um, uh, is 35 percent lower than the beginning mm. so the what is the, the yeah. weight the, the weight, weight? Of, of the so grapes. it's all shriveled up so okay. i guess the liquid yeah. is all yeah there's a kind of concentration mm -hmm. of sugars yeah. in the in the grapes and, um, and so after that, at the end of, uh, of January, uh, we make, it starts the real uh, winemaking process. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, have a very soft pressing of the grapes. And then we leave them for about three weeks for a maceration. The, the juice have maceration on the, on the marks. Uh -huh. And only after that, it starts the, um, the uh, fermentation process which lasts about 40 days. Okay. And after that, we, uh, we put the wine in um, uh, very small, uh, small French oak barrels okay. for about two years. Okay. And so after that, we have the, the wine of God. <laughs> well, and you know, that makes sense because Amarone is one of the higher priced wines. Yeah. But when you, when you figure, like what you were just saying, the, the process, how long it takes, like that's yeah. an investment in the timing of just waiting for them to, to dry and then how long they, they you know, they, the, the drying and then how long they stay in the barrel yeah. and that sort of thing. It's a, it, it's a while before you get right. your return on investment. <laughs> right, and then also the selection because uh, mm -hmm. um, before each step, um, the, the, the bunch has to be selected, the bunches of, of grapes okay. has to be selected. Right. So try also to imagine this one, it's mm -hmm. a very, it's a very, big and long uh, working around the wine. Yes, yes. I'm and tweeting okay. about this right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. So, so what, are you, what are you saying about uh, it? Okay, well, I want you guys to try it, and then we're going mm. to... So, mm. it, Daniela, this is available where? Um, is this all over it, the world, too? Uh, yeah, in, um, in a lot of countries all over the world. Okay. And um, for World Concern Ontario, uh, we're going. We we it it was in sale on sale it, at the um, Women in Wine event. Uh huh. And it has been in vintages, and so sometimes okay. it's it's also in vintages. Okay. So Georgia, what do you think mm. of the wine? So oh, I think it's delicious. I think it's got um, it's got so much well well so much flavor. First of all, I don't know if it's if it's the cherries that are in there that is really really prominent. Okay. So that cherries. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's got great weight too, which I guess is normal. I mean, what is the percentage of alcohol? Is it sixteen? Whoa, yeah. whoa! Knock me over. No wonder <laughs> I'm feeling that. <laughs> so it's available in vintages right now. Um, yeah, it was. So there and might be a few be, bottles. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so let's let everyone know they can try it. Yeah, and uh, retail here in the market is about forty-seven okay. uh, dollar. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah, what if I one. were to have a little bit of this tonight for dinner, <laughs> what, what should I make for dinner to go with this, Daniela? Um, I would suggest maybe some games or red okay. meat. Okay. Uh, but it pairs also very, very well uh, with some very savory cheese. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, after dinner, if you want a kind of meditation time, you can just sit down and drink the glass of wine and meditate about your day and about everything about your life 
<laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I like the sound of that. Can I do all of the above? Okay, so I'm asking everyone if they could, uh, you know, pick up a bottle and tell us what they think of the wine. Sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, so I think it's time to go to another break. Okay. We're going to enjoy a little bit of our Amarone here, but don't go away. We're going to be learning all about grappa when we get back. Mm -hmm. I can hardly wait to try that one. We'll be right back. Hi everybody. Hi everybody, it's us the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and I'd like to invite you to the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Minkle Wine Tasting taking place here at the spectacular Rumi Galleries in Mississauga. Sure to be the party of the season, mix and mingle while you sip on an exclusive list of wines from around the globe, not available at Vintages or at the LCBO. While you also enjoy delectable appetizers created by the masterful chef Len Hong of the Three S's Restaurant. Meet like-minded palates, whether you love a big California Cabernet or a silky, smooth Pinot Noir, or perhaps can't refuse a glass of bubbly. The wines will be available to purchase, too, only by the case. But that's okay, we've made it simple. Need a mate and mix a case. It's perfect for the holidays. <laughs> or simply come and have a wonderful time in a spectacular venue of roomy galleries, all the while being entertained by the ultimate entertainer, David Johans. Now, Suzanne, we're also going to have prizes and loot bags for everyone, too. So why not kick off the holiday season with the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Mingle Wine tasting November 17th at Rumi Galleries in Mississauga, thewineladies.com for more information and for tickets. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Hey Georgia, hey Suzanne, welcome to Girls Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course, after all, we're, we're the, the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen, so what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls Night Out, we brought Girls Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny, the Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls Night Out Wines, hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. Hey, Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it. Believe it. You'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration. 905-483-8676. In Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. <laughs> all right. Well, women rule all this t all this week with the uh, with the fabulous uh, event that we've been going to and the uh, La Don del Vino. We've got Dan Daniela Chester here today with us. Uh, she's been sharing with us a fabulous prosecco and amarone, and I think we're we're going to move on to the grappa now. Is I that think is that so. the plan? Or? Yeah. yeah. Should we talk about the grappa? You know, like I just want those flavors on my tongue to linger just a little bit longer <laughs> from the amarone. That was it's absolutely to die for. So let's talk about the grappa, because a lot of people don't know what grappa is. Yeah. So grappa is a very novel distillate, because it comes from the same raw material of the wines. Uh -huh. So uh, this is why when you can smell a glass of grappa, you can still find the same uh, aromas and bouquet that you can find in the wine. So what, what happened? After the pressing of the grapes, mm -hmm. uh, and so we use the juice for the production of the wine, and uh, we use the remaining part, right. uh, so the marks, for the production of the, of the grappa. Uh -huh. We steam distill uh, for three times the marks in a, with a vacuum system. So okay. in this way we can preserve all the aromas of the, of the mm. uh, grapes uh -huh. and, um, and also have a very, very smooth product. This is right. one of the key points of our grappa, which is a very smooth product. And mm -hmm. also smooth? It, smooth, yeah. And it was probably one of the reasons, or I'm sure that it's one of the reasons, um, because the people around the world is drinking our grappa. So I t we are in around 100 countries also with our grappa. Mm -hmm. And um, 
and one is of course one of the key points that it's very very smooth. When okay. do you normally drink grappa? Is it at the end of the meal, at the beginning of the meal? In Italy, we're used to have it as an, uh, as an after dinner. After dinner drink. But um, you can enjoy it also on the rocks. Now it's very, it's mm. a very popular to drink grappa on the rocks. Okay. Uh, but also you can have it maybe um, uh, at the end, in the evening, if you want to sip just some grappa and have a piece of chocolate, mm -hmm. maybe dark chocolate, Oh. that it's, it's fantastic. They pair very, very well together. Okay. Now, you said that um, they take nice the, 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 what's left over, once the grapes are, are um, pressed for the yeah. wine, then what is left over the mark is what's used for the, for the yeah. grappa. Does it matter and does it impact the final flavor, what the grapes are, and does it make yeah. a huge difference? Yeah, this is the reason because I said it's very important to remember that it comes from the same raw material of the wine. Mm -hmm because it's very, very important. For example, this grappa has uh, three different uh, kind of grapes. Okay. And uh, it's uh, the glera, uh -huh. that it's the grapes of Prosecco. Right. Then it's the Friulano, which is the Italian Tokai, mm -hmm. and it's the Pinot Grigio. So um, it's a very fruity mm -hmm. uh, grappa. A bouquet, the bouquet has a lot of exotic fruits and uh, apple. Are they but always if, white example, grapes that are used for no, grappa? No, no. This Yours one is white grapes. It is white grapes. Yeah. But we okay. also have, we produce, we are used to produce also single varietal grappa. Okay. So we have, for example, the Cabernet grappa. Mm. And so when you smell it, you can find herbaceous scents, uh -huh. like hay or dried grass. Right. Or maybe if you, uh, if you have some Prosecco grappa, mm -hmm. it would be, first of all, a mainly fruity. So, and okay. a lot of uh, pear. Uh -huh. and <laughs> <laughs> apples, golden <laughs> apples. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but otherwise, if you taste the Moscato grappa, yes. it would be spicy and oh. a little bit sweet. Right. So okay. each uh, grappa is different. Okay. And so if someone asks you if you like grappa, you should, th you should try to think if you like the Prosecco grappa, or the Moscato uh -huh. grappa, or the Amarone okay. grappa. Uh -huh. So it's not a generic so thing. You, it's may not not, a generic you may thing. like certain grappas yeah. and others you may not. Yeah. Okay. And how much is this at the LCBO? Twenty-seven. Okay. Dollar. Yeah. So we'll let everyone know about this one. She's too. tweeting but away again. I love tweeting. It's my new favorite thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should grappa talk about grappa. Grappa. grappa is, what's that? You should talk about grappa. Grappa is. Yeah, novel, we haven't done novel, a lot of yeah. a lot about grappa really. No, it hasn't been one of our our main topics, but. Definitely. Yeah, it, it's something unique because, yeah. uh, um, you know, it comes from the same mm -hmm. raw material of the wine. This is very important. Yeah. And the, mo the aromatic part of the, of the grapes are in the marks. So uh -huh. when, you, when right. we distill the marks, we are distilling the aromas of the grapes. Yes. So this is something uh, mm -hmm. very unique. Right. And then it's 100% natural. We cannot add uh, liquors or um, other things for um, giving a particular taste. It can be only 100% uh, a distillate of the grapes. Okay. okay and awesome. so it's all Italian. Right. Okay, yeah, so I'm out of, <laughs> I'm out of glasses here. So we're going to need to get, I think, Georgia, you're going to have to okay, have to do, do the massage? honors here. Okay, so with oh, the you're out of your glasses. Okay, You've so got all the clean the glasses. Grappa. Okay, now when, you're, when you speak about um, enjoying grappa, we're going to put them in our wine glasses here, but yeah. what's the best way? What's, does the glass make a difference? And should is it matter? Do some people have it neat? Some people have it on ice? What's the best way to enjoy it? Um, first of all, the glass is... Um, usually, it's better a balloon glass. Balloon glass. Oh, okay. Like a cognac glass? Yeah. Chain? Okay. Right. And yeah. um, we are used in Italy to have it after dinner, so straight. Uh -huh, and it's okay. probably the best way to enjoy the flavor of the, gra the grappa and the taste and of what, the And what would be okay. the alcohol, typical alcohol percentage on something uh, like this? It's a 38. 38%. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mm. That's Definitely why an after dinner <laughs> drink for me. <laughs> Not before. You mean an after work drink too? <laughs> after work and after dinner drink, yes. 38%, okay. 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 Interesting. Wow. Yeah, it's something that you can easily see. The world of see. wine is definitely a fascinating one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And grappa can be included, in my opinion, in the same board of wine. I mean, the raw, mm -hmm. it comes from grapes, so. Right, exactly. Yeah. 
It's only a, it's only yeah, about it's double double the percentage of alcohol. Double plus a little <laughs> bit of the amarone, but. <laughs> Okay, well, let's give that a shot. Like, mm. I have to say, I don't mm -hmm. know about you, Suzanne, but I rarely, rarely uh, enjoy any kind of spirit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm really sort of like pretty much a 99.9% percent true wine, and true. Wine lady. I guess You're so, a wine yes. Lady, true yeah. and true. But I should expand my horizons. You a little should. Bit. Yes, I should. A little should. bit of Look scotch. Who's talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think you venture out a little bit more than I do. Do you enjoy other, other um, beverages besides wine sometimes, Daniela? Um, yeah, the distillate in general. I'm, mm -hmm. I like to learn more about them. So I'd like yeah. to try that lim limoncello. Is that what it's called? Or yeah. It's, uh, and we use a very particular recipe because it's grappa based. So we make a real infusion of lemon peels from Sicily, oh. which is the southern island of Italy, a very sunny island yeah. with very, very juicy lemon. Oh. And so we can make a real infusion of these lemon peels with grappa. And mm. so the result is a very nice product, very rich in the lemon flavor mm. and taste and very, very clean at the end. Yeah, actually Thanks I to have to admit I've had lemon, have you had limoncello? I have, I think you have had too. I have a question, why, why would this go with chocolate? Explain to me why would this drink would go with chocolate so well. Because, uh, because of the flavor, of course. Because of the what? Uh, of the flavor, the flavor, the flavor. flavor of course. Hmm. It's, it's why cognac should go well with a chocolate. Yeah, uh -huh. so yeah. It's yeah. They it's are very, very rich. And you'd suggest a dark, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That, yeah, I think that would, that would be Do nice. Do you have actually. any chocolate on you? I don't. I don't have it. I have a lot at home, though. I have a lot of that lovely Brix chocolate, That's actually. true. Hmm, I have yeah. to try some so of that at home. Yeah, I try to imagine a piece of chocolate, of dark chocolate, yeah. so the bitterness of the chocolate in your mouth, mm -hmm. and then you can sip some grappa, and so it uh, becomes a, a very interesting uh, mixture. Yes, it's true. Yeah. It sort of has cream. a bit of that cognac sort of, uh, not that it is a cognac, yeah. but that same sort of um, general yeah. feeling. Yeah, palette. Uh, it, in fact, also con cognac comes from wine, so mm -hmm. that's it true. It also comes from the grapes, mm -hmm. we can say. Right. But grappa doesn't need to be aged because it has its own uh, flavor, we mm -hmm. can say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so this is the uh, one also of the particularity, one of the characteristics of grappa. Mm -hmm. And it's also one of the difference. And uh, I like it at this temperature too. I think, yeah. it, I, I, I don't know, yeah. you were saying on the rocks as well, but I think yeah. this is, the, the flavors yeah. really come out beautifully. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's room temperature nice. is the best way yes. to taste mm -hmm. it. I would think so, so you can smell all the mm. flavor and the complexity of the, of the Now, grappa. are you supposed to, so in the, with wines, of course, we swirled our glasses a little bit to sort of elevate the aromas mm -hmm. to, the, to the top of the glass. Um, with grappa, do you just, if you do that, do you just smell, does it just bring the alcohol to the, to the, yes. to the surface? So that's probably not a good thing You should swirl. You should smell the glass uh, the, the grappa, but mm -hmm. without, uh, without moving. swirling, yeah, without okay. swirling the, the, the grappa. Otherwise, all the alcohol mm. comes up, and it kind of burns your nose. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. cleans you out a bit. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have to say, like for someone who doesn't really ever drink spirits like you know that's that's actually quite nice and I'm envisioning having it with a little piece of chocolate mm -hmm. yeah I think that you might work too. quite well actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go to our last break of the day and we get back uh, we'll wrap up the show sounds good all right we'll be right back hi everybody it's us the wine ladies I'm Georgia and I'm Suzanne and I'd like to invite you to the wine ladies holiday mix and minkle wine tasting taking place here at the spectacular roomy galleries in Mississauga sure to be the party of the season mix and mingle while you sip on an exclusive list of wines from around the globe not available at vintages or at the LCBO while you also enjoy delectable appetizers created by the masterful chef Len Hong of the three S's restaurant meet like minded palettes. Whether you love a big California Cabernet or a silky smooth Pinot Noir or perhaps 
can't refuse a glass of bubbly. The wines will be available to purchase, too, only by the case. But that's okay, we've made it simple. Need a mate and mix a case. It's perfect for the holidays. Or simply come and have a wonderful time in a spectacular venue of roomy galleries, all the while being entertained by the ultimate entertainer, David Johans. Now, Suzanne, we're also going to have prizes and loot bags for everyone, too. So why not kick off the holiday season with the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Mingle Wine Tasting. November 17th at Rumi Galleries in Mississauga, thewineladies.com for more information and for tickets. Cheers, Cheers everyone. everyone. Hey, Georgia, hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine, wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen, so what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny, the Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out Wines, hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to Girls' Night Out wines.com Hey Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it, believe it, you'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration, 905-483-8676. In Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. All right, we're back. <laughs> Safe. But sorry. <laughs> it's okay. There's a little less wine in your glass, now, Suzanne. Right. <laughs> a little bit of my Amarone. All right. So we we're at the end of the show, Georgia. What did what did you want to talk about this? Well, so no. I, I want to say there's a couple of other aspects, a couple of, of other sides to the company that mm. I th that I think they're very interesting. There's like a little bit of a social conscience yeah. side and also an environmental side. Yeah. So Daniela, maybe we can just touch upon both of those a little bit, starting off yeah. maybe with the uh, the social conscience. Yeah. So um, we uh, usually try to um, do some kind of uh, um, campaign mm -hmm. for collecting uh, money and fundings for uh, some association. Right. And um, as we are talking about women, right. I think that we should mention the uh, BHI, the Breast Health Institute. Okay. So we um, we did. We, we have also rosé, a sparkling rosé uh -huh. um, that we produce it in, in our winery. And uh, for um, it, we are used to sell it in the duty free with a kind of campaign. So for each bottle sold, we uh, give the donation to uh, the Breast Health Institute um, oh, in, in uh, uh, Great Britain. So we had also some uh, events here in North America. I think in the United States for sure. I'm not sure about Canada. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we had a great cooperation with them. So in this way, we can uh, help uh, the research in order to uh, solve this, unfortunately, very sad <laughs> problem. Yes, it is. Well, I think that's very women. important. I know yeah. we do a lot of fundraising mm -hmm. and uh, have a social conscience as well um, with, the, with our work. I think as a corporation, yeah. That's that's very important to be doing something like that. Con congratulations on, on those efforts. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I know that you guys are also involved with a couple of other areas as well, like with the Braille, with the yeah. the, the, the folks that are yeah. not able to read that are blind. Yes, you do something with them as well. With them, yes, yeah, some labels, or then we did also uh, a donation to the um, Paralympics uh -huh. in Vancouver yeah. in 2010, mm -hmm. I guess. And um, and then yeah, co we also collect money for the um, children for the kids right. uh, in in Africa. Uh -huh. So yeah, we usually every year we have this kind of of campaign. And That's great. It's like paying it forward, I guess. Yeah, it's important to pay back. Yeah. 
And also you guys have like some great initi uh, initiatives having to do with the environment as well. Yes, we are almost a green company. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, in, we moved in these uh, new headquarters in 2007. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a very old farmhouse. It was a, a farmhouse of the 19th century. Yeah. And, um, and we renovated it in accordance with ecological criteria. Mm -hmm. So we use uh, um, biomass uh, for um, producing energy necessary for a distillation, and then right. geothermal energy for eating and air conditioning. And um, also the um, packaging of our bottles. Yeah. We, uh, we don't use uh, the carton board but we are now using a very nice uh, velvet pot, so they can be also reused, velvet bags, oh, you can say. So what they what can are velvet bags? bags? Oh, okay. Really? Wow, yeah. so that's awesome. Yeah, and um, so that's it's great. We are now, I think, in this year or probably next year, we, we will be soon a green company. Wonderful. Yeah, and also the vineyards. Oh, thank you. So yeah, the vineyards great. in front of the company, we are not. We are now using uh, only natural products for uh, the maintenance of, of the vine of the Wonderful. vines. So, awesome. Well, congratulations yeah. to you guys. That's fantastic. Yeah. All thank right. You. So I guess probably we should. We'll have to say goodbye. Oh, oh no. thank you very much. <laughs> well, we so enjoyed nice. having you on the show. It was great <laughs> to meet you. you. It was great to meet you too, and it was a pleasure to be in here. Thank you very much. Okay. And actually, you know what, um, we also, at, when we were at the event, we did shoot a little bit of a video. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll show that now at the end of the show. It's about a three or four minute, uh, so you, you guys can see what a trade tasting is like. And uh, we're showcasing some of the wonderful wine producers at the, uh, the event that we were at. Great idea. So we'll, 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 we'll conclude with that. And Daniela, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye, okay, we'll see everybody. you on your home turf next time, Daniela. Of course. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye-bye. So we're here at the premier Canadian trade wine tasting for the Don del Vino, which means women in wine, an association with over 800 members promoting everything to do with wine. Whether you're a winemaker, a journalist, a, um, oh, a proprietor, or a TV personality, everything to do with wine, promoting the culture of wine. 800 Italian women, can you believe it? It's gonna be an awesome day with Amaronis and Val Palacellas and much, much more. Cheers, salute. I think this is the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can, I, Sorry, excuse me. That's okay. Siamo. Siamo parla. Siamo appena. Abbiamo versato un ragnano della penisola sorrentina, che è della tradizione campana. È un vino vivace che bene si sposa con la pizza napoletana e con tanti altri piatti della tradizione, quali pesce a zuppa, pesce fritto e, e via. So she just poured uh, Gragnano. It's uh, very indigenous of the area of Campania. Uh, it's a very lively wine from Fritzi. Um, uh, must be served cold, cool. Um, it's great, uh, it's very typical and traditional of the area. It's a very old style uh, kind of uh, traditional grape from Campania. It's perfect with uh, pizza. Uh, light pasta, it's a very fun and easy and lively one. Mm. 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 Fiano. And Fiano is not a typical variety of Sicily, but a typical variety of Campania. We introduced Fiano in 1996, uh, experimenting different varieties, and we really got in love with the variety because it's, it uh, has adapted itself in a completely different way to its original area. Uh, more warm, more 
uh, exotic fruit, uh, but very unique and it's very distinctive. In fact, we are the only one people producing piano in Sicily, and, uh, and it's uh, the reason why, because it's a very delicate variety, uh, not easy to produce in Sicily, but sometimes when it comes good, it comes very good. <laughs> oh, okay, I would love to try it. Awesome. Okay. And why is it not easy to produce in Sicily? Because usually the, uh, the piano uh, grows in a high altitude and in much more. more Right. Uh, and you will see my, my wine are really spicy and uh, these are our characteristics, our best characteristics. Because uh, usually the Valpolicella has more fruity notes, notes more like a Californian wine, so really a bomb of fruits. But I like more the Burgundy wines, so more more vertical, more serious wine. And uh, these are my products, so you, you will see. <laughs> okay? Perfect, okay, so that's the uh, plain one. Okay, let's try the Superiore. And we have to go, because we we're doing another show today. Ah, okay. No. Thank you. opportunity to interview four of the wineries that we visited here will be appearing on the Wine Ladies once a week. We've had a fantastic time here this afternoon at Le Dun del Vino and by the looks of things women and wine are here to stay. Fantastic. Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and I'd like to invite you to the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Minkle Wine Tasting taking place here at the spectacular Rumi Galleries in Mississauga. Sure to be the party of the season, mix and mingle while you sip on an exclusive list of wines from around the globe, not available at Vintages or the LCBO. While you also enjoy delectable appetizers created by the masterful chef Len Hong of the Three S's Restaurant. Meet like-minded palates, whether you love a big California Cabernet or a silky, smooth Pinot Noir, or perhaps can't refuse a glass of bubbly. The wines will be available to purchase, too, only by the case, but that's okay, we've made it simple. Meet a mate and mix a case. It's perfect for the holidays. <laughs> or simply come and have a wonderful time in a spectacular venue of roomy galleries, all the while being entertained by the ultimate entertainer, David Johans. Now, Suzanne, we're also going to have prizes and loot bags for everyone, too, so why not kick off the holiday season with the Wine Ladies Holiday Mix and Mingle Wine tasting. November 17th at Rumi Galleries in Mississauga, thewineladies.com for more information and for tickets. Cheers, Cheers everyone. everyone. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the, the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. So what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls Night Out, we brought Girls Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny. The Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls Night Out wines. Hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. 
Hey, Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it. Believe it. You'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration, 905-483-8676. In Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. So what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny. The Rosé. Well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out wines. Hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. 